Hi, my name is Julia and I'm a speech language pathologist at West Park Healthcare Center. Today, I'm going to talk to you about understanding strokes and recovery from a stroke. I will tell you what a stroke is and about the different kinds of strokes. I will also talk to you about the various problems caused by a stroke. A stroke occurs when blood stops flowing to part of the brain. There are two ways this can happen, either to a blood clot, which is a blockage, or a rupture of a blood vessel, which causes blood to leak into the brain. When either of those things happens, brain cells begin to die and brain damage occurs. About 87% of strokes are ischemic strokes, meaning they are caused by a blood clot. A clot stops the blood flow to an area of the brain, causing cells to die. About 13% of strokes are hemorrhagic strokes, meaning they are caused by a bleed. This means there is bleeding around or into the brain. Brain cells that are most affected by the stroke do not recover. But the good news is that some brain cells that surround the damaged area may recover. Therapy after a stroke can help to maximize recovery. The most rapid recovery happens in the first three months after a stroke, but improvement can continue for one to two years after your stroke. The consequences of a stroke will vary for each person, depending on the part of the brain that was affected. Possible consequences include the following. Weakness on one side of the body, difficulty with balance and walking, pain, difficulty speaking, trouble swallowing, changes in your vision. Further consequences of a stroke can include problems with memory or problem solving, depression and or personality changes, or difficulty understanding spoken language. Stroke rehabilitation will help you maximize recovery of the functions that have been affected. In stroke rehabilitation, we'll be working on improving aspects of daily life that have been impacted by the stroke. These include your self-care, such as bathing, dressing, grooming, eating, and using the toilet, as well as managing your finances, shopping, and many other matters. Your mobility, such as walking or using a wheelchair, managing stairs, transferring, using the toilet, or bathing. Taking part in physical activities for recreation or exercise, and getting out in the community, including driving or taking public transit, and working. Stroke can also affect other aspects of daily life. Socializing, being involved in relationships and sexuality, fatigue and sleep, and post-stroke depression. 30% of people with stroke can develop depression either right after a stroke or later on. It is important that you speak to your doctor or healthcare provider. If depression is left untreated, it can impact your stroke recovery. In stroke rehabilitation, we focus on achieving goals in the aspects of your life that have been affected by your stroke. Recovery after stroke happens in three ways. Natural healing occurs over weeks and is similar to how a wound heals into a scar and then resolves. Recovery happens through neuroplasticity, meaning other areas of the brain may take over for the area damaged by the stroke. Repeating activities over and over helps the brain form new pathways for doing tasks. 
recovery also happens by finding new ways of doing things, which is known as compensation. For example, using a walker to get around, or using a smartphone to help remember appointments. Therapy will help you improve your function after a stroke. Try to avoid feeling frustrated with your body. It is doing the best it can. Celebrate your successes. It is important to get the most therapy as early as possible in your recovery from stroke. It is also very important to continue with ongoing exercise even after your rehabilitation is over. There are many things you can do to maximize your recovery. Move your affected arm or limb. If you can't, imagine moving it. Do your homework, which may include puzzles, brain teasers, or an exercise program. Try to do as much for yourself as you can during the day, but remember, always be safe. Have visitors or family sit on your affected side when they are talking to you, so you are encouraged to turn, look, and pay attention to this side. Your therapists will give specific recommendations for you. If you have any questions following this presentation, please ask any member of your stroke rehab team. <music>